guys, my name is Natasha and welcome to my channel. Today I'll be talking about a major part of my hair routine and really the main reason that my hair has grown back so fast since I did my big chop last year and that is rice water. In this video, I'll be showing my hair growth throughout the past 12 months, how to make rice water, how to apply it, mistakes to avoid, and most importantly, why it actually works. Also, just FYI before we even get started, so I've been looking up like other YouTube videos on rice water and a lot of them say like a whole bunch of steps like rinse the rice, boil the water, add orange peels, strain the water, add it to a water bottle, put essential oil, spray your hair, section it off, leave it in, and in my opinion like it, that's just doing way too much. So that being said, I'm going to be showing my shortcut, easy peasy, straight to the point method because I have the results to show for it, so I gotta be doing some right. Now, I'm sure doing all that extra stuff has, you know, extra benefits, like it definitely does, but the point of really any health routine, whether it's exercising or dieting or trying to grow your hair out, is you have to be consistent and you have to stick to it. The key to seeing results is consistency, and if making rice water takes too much time and energy out of your day, you know, following all these extra steps, you're going to lose motivation, you're not going to stick to it, and you won't see results, and then you'll definitely lose motivation because you're like, rice water mess doesn't work. I am a senior in college so that should really speak for itself like I don't have all the time in the world to be playing with some rice. So rice water is rich in minerals, amino acids, vitamins, and antioxidants which are all super beneficial for your hair and since it's a natural remedy it doesn't have any side effects like chemical protein treatments do. So when I first started using rice water I actually put like a mini tutorial on my hair page and that post reached like 160,000 likes. So I've always known that it's been a huge interest for my followers. And since then I've just been like experimenting and collecting information on it so I could put all of that information in just one concise video. Now, one thing about me, I'll walk the walk before I talk the talk, <laughs> which is why I didn't make a YouTube video right away because I wanted to make sure I could collect, you know, real results and show them over a timeline so you guys could see exactly how my hair, you know, reacted to the rice water. And I also wanted to like include tips on what to avoid and really how to specialize a routine for your specific hair type. Also, the best part about rice water, in my opinion, is you see results and you feel a difference in your hair after just the first use. So I would encourage you to at least try it and see how your hair reacts to it and just kind of figure out for yourself if it would be a good addition to your wash day routine because I love it and I'm probably always going to use rice water. So rice water is really basically just a natural protein treatment and its widespread use is known to start with the Yao women in China who average a hair length of six feet long because they constantly wash their hair in this nutrient rich starchy water. In recent years the tradition has grown in popularity and there's much more research coming out on exactly why rice water is so beneficial to hair growth. Over time, in my personal experience, I've noticed that it's made my hair smoother and shinier and also a lot easier to detangle, which means that I don't have nearly as much hair fallout, you know, when I comb my hair out or when I style it for my wash and goes. It's not so much that rice water necessarily makes hair grow out of your scalp faster, but it does protect the hair that's already on your head and so you experience less breakage and less hair fallout than someone with weaker strands. So basically, your hair appears as if it's growing faster because you're retaining more length than someone who, again, has weaker hair that breaks off more easily, if that makes sense. I use rice water as a protein treatment every two to three wash days. That's just what I found out works best for my hair texture and my hair type. But the more you use it and the more you pay attention to its effects, the easier it is to kind of come up with a routine that's right for you. I can always tell it's time for me to use a protein treatment when my hair is like kind of limp or really frizzy or just weighed down or it's just like uncooperative. Like, you know what I mean? Like you use products, you do everything the way you usually do it and it's like s still not a good hair day. Like that's when I know I need a protein treatment. I actually make my rice water a day before I know I'm gonna wash my hair. So say I'm gonna wash my hair tomorrow, today I'll make my rice water and I'll let it ferment overnight so that I can use it in the shower the next day. The reason that I let it ferment is because fermented rice water and really fermented substances in general have more antioxidants in them, which again are super beneficial to hair growth. So there's good news and bad news about rice water. I personally like to get bad news first. 
The bad news is when you let rice water ferment, it kind of smells like a dead body. Good news is it's called rice water rinse because that's all you have to do to get the benefits of rice water. Just rinse it in your hair. You don't have to let it sit. You don't have to sleep in it. You don't have to keep it in your hair like a mask. You literally just have to smell it for as long as it takes to like pour over your head and rinse out of the shower. So trade-offs. I mix about a one to six ratio of rice to water in a mason jar or just a clear glass jar like this one. And I stir it up until the water gets foggy and then I set it aside until I wash my hair the next day. Not gonna lie, I have never once measured exactly how much rice and water I mix because again, I'm a lazy natural and pulling out a measuring cup ever is just doing like way too much. <laughs> If you are in the mood to be extra, because I know there's some of you out there, you can definitely add things like orange peels or essential oils to help it smell better. Um, I used to actually do this when I first started using rice water, but I just realized the smell didn't really bother me, especially once I switched to black rice, jasmine rice, or this organic wild rice, because I noticed the smell like was hardly even noticeable and it just really didn't bother me since again, you don't like leave it in your hair for more than 10 seconds. And again, college student here, so anything that is easier is better, like in every scenario ever. All right, so to get into my actual wash day routine, I start off by wetting my hair, of course. Then I go in with my favorite moisturizing shampoo, which is the Cream of Nature Moisturizing and Detangling Shampoo. I focus shampoo on my roots and my deep conditioner on my mid and ends. I also like to use my scalp massager to stimulate my roots and encourage blood flow to my scalp, which helps boost hair growth. I try and give my scalp a thorough massage every time I wash it in the shower and then I go ahead and rinse the shampoo out. Next, I go in with my castor oil strengthen and restore hair mask, again focusing it on the mids and ends rather than the roots like I did the shampoo. I actually don't even own conditioners because since my hair is just so thick and loses moisture easily, I use masks or deep conditioners in the shower rather than regular conditioners just to make sure that all that moisture gets restored back into my very high porosity hair. I detangle with my wet brush making sure to start at the ends of my hair and work my way up to avoid unnecessary breakage from fighting tangles until eventually my brush glides through all of my curls with ease. Now for actually using the rice water, I dip as much hair as I can into the container to make sure that it's completely saturated. Then I pour the rest of the water over my head and massage it into my roots for a little bit. The final and very crucial step of my wash day routine is to turn down the temperature and smooth my hair follicle with a cool water rinse. I've been doing this for a few weeks now and it basically just seals moisture into my hair, makes it much smoother, and gives me some curl pattern before I even step out of the shower. I do this every two or three wash days and immediately after my hair is softer, smoother, um, it's much easier to comb out and my hair days are just more cooperative. Like I just have good hair days after I use rice water is the best way I can describe it. Really quick, there are a couple things that you want to look out for when you're using rice water and the first one is protein overload, which is exactly what it sounds like too much protein in your hair. You can tell when you have protein overload when your hair feels dry, brittle, and like straw-like when you touch it. This tends to happen most often to people with low porosity hair because low porosity hair is resistant to moisture and it's very protein sensitive. So if you have low porosity hair, I would suggest like starting out just trying it once a month or like every, every few weeks and then seeing how your hair reacts to it and then adjusting accordingly. I personally have high porosity hair, which means like my hair shaft has a lot of gaps in it naturally. And so adding protein helps fill in those gaps and therefore provides a little extra strength for my curls. Now, even though I have high porosity hair, I've definitely experienced protein overload before. And it was when I first started using rice water, I like got a little too excited and I used rice water twice in one week which is like a huge no. And afterwards my hair was just really dry and like crunchy to the touch and it just felt super brittle. So that was from using too much rice water, but it's fine. I got a little carried away, a little lost in the sauce. It happens to the best of us. 
So, little life advice here, everything in moderation. Don't overdo it with the rice water. This Jamaican black castor oil mask by Shea Moisture is my personal favorite because it's very rich and the castor oil always leaves my hair really soft. Um, and they also have this little mini in case you, you know, just want to give it a try before getting the big one. So this hair mask and rice water work great together to make sure that my hair stays balanced and I haven't had any adverse reactions to rice water since. So that's kind of the best routine that works for me. So the more you experiment with rice water, the more you'll recognize just exactly how your hair reacts to it and the quicker you'll be able to put together a routine that works just for you. But again, I noticed an obvious difference in my hair the very first time I tried it. So I would encourage you to at least give it a try, whether you have straight hair, curly hair, kinky hair, type one or type four curls. Just try it out and see how your hair specifically reacts to it or if you see any you know, positive differences at all. This has definitely played the biggest role in my hair growth this past year though. I tell all my friends to do it and I plan to always include it in my wash day routine just because of how easy it is and how cheap it is. I mean, rice is like a dollar pound, so. I try to include everything I've learned and researched about rice water in this video, but if you feel like there's anything I left out, just leave them in the comments and I'll be sure to get back to them. Thanks again so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.